when you start learning about prostate history, you know that it is um, genetic in the sense that uh, it can go down from one, one male to another male to another male to another male. My name is Len Kichak. I live here in Long Branch, just about two blocks away from Monmouth Medical Center. And I was diagnosed with prostate cancer back in 2009. My paternal grandfather uh, had it in the 50s. He passes away around 1956, 1957. My father is diagnosed with prostate cancer uh, sometime in the early 70s, mid 70s, and uh, he passes on from other cancers. We know that patients who have fathers who have prostate cancer have a higher risk of developing prostate cancer. We typically will recommend that they be screened earlier, so at the age of 40 rather than 50. My oldest brother, Charlie, he was probably about 50, 52, 53. He was diagnosed with it, and his bra he had brachytherapy, but he had to fight to get brachytherapy. And then my older brother, Al, who's uh, five years older than me, he and I were both diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2009. He went through the radiation, I do the brachytherapy in Monmouth Medical Center. Prostate brachytherapy is otherwise known as a seed implant, which is what patients mostly identify with. It's a single one-day procedure where patients uh, come into the hospital. We place tiny radioactive pellets directly in their prostate using tiny needles, not much different from IV needles. Uh, they go home that day. There's no scars. There's no virtually no recovery time associated with the procedure. The day of the surgery, it was, it was it went like this. And by the end of the week, I was ready to go back to work. The treatment options for Len were active surveillance, continuing to follow his prostate cancer without uh, treating him at this time. Surgery, uh, removing the prostate completely. A seed implant, the sing single one-day procedure. Or external beam radiation therapy and each of these would have been great options for him, but at the end of the day, he chose to do a seed implant because it best suited his situation. My wife and I are both very, very pleased with whatever care we've ever gotten from Monmouth Medical Center. Uh, the staff, the, uh, the residents there, um, we, we, just, we think it's just a, a great place to go. I am an attorney and I've written a number of wills where there are some significant bequests that are going to go into Monmouth Medical Center and um, I, I can't tell you how pleased I am to have that in a person's last will and testament that you know that um, Monmouth Medical is going to benefit from this. Hey, try me next week, okay? Or send me an email. Prostate cancer is so curable that it's extremely rare these days that anybody would die from it except if it's not attended to. It's not a battle, it's, it's not a war. Um, it's what you need to do to get yourself back in shape. You just have to have a positive attitude that it can work for you. RWJ Barnabas Health, let's be healthy together.